Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trippy here, and we have some new things in Mutt. We have 92 overall, left outside linebacker, Nigel Bradham. We have left guard, Roger Saffold, who they played, but if you don't know by now, I'll show you in a second. Then we have new Glover Quinn, veteran, 90 overall. Um, but first, I'm going to go ahead and get into the solo battle rewards. I didn't place in the top 100. I never really do. I don't really have the time to sit here and try to score as much as possible on the computer. I just try to get it done, get my free uh, 50,000 plus whatever I get out of these packs right here. Um, I'm not too sure. For the sake of the video, I'll just go ahead and open up these packs and see what we can get. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and breeze through these packs as we talk a little bit. Um, so football, NFL, real life, um, what, like this, this is, might've been one of the weirdest, quietest weeks of football we've had in a little while. Like nothing unexpected, nothing like super shocking happened. It was, uh, it, it was everything pretty much for the most part went how we thought it would. Uh, some of these scores are ridiculous. A few players here and there stats a little inflated from compared to what we thought they would uh would happen. But uh, as I'm looking at it, we're looking at uh the Bengals and Bucks. That was probably the most interesting game because I don't. I mean, a lot of people probably expected Jameis Winston to you know f up like he did, but I wasn't one of them. Well, I was hoping uh, he wouldn't be the guy that would F up because I had him on my fantasy team. I didn't start him thanks to Aaron Rodgers, but it it's it's looking ugly for the former number one uh number one overall pick. It's it's just uh man, it's it's not a bright spot. As we pull a Brian Erlacher Hall of Fame seventy seven overall. I'm pretty sure he's not going for a whole hell of a lot, but you know it's something. As we finally get our level master collectible but just touching on a few subjects real quick before uh, before I get into the huge topic of the, or the bulk of the video. Um, let's see. For them, my Eagles got a dub. You know, I'm going to talk about that. Eagles got a dub. Uh, Panthers and Ravens. Wasn't expecting that game to fall how it did. As we pull a team of the week, 82 overall, Trey Way. Trey Way. 83 overall, Marcus Williams. And we get absolute... Buns out of this pack. Definitely should have took my 75,000 coins, but, you know, what's done is done. I'm pretty sure none of these really go for anything. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Marcus Williams. He probably goes for the most. Well, now that we got that out of the way... um. Let's go ahead and look at the new cards that's in Mutt right now. As we got my boy Nigel Bradham, 92 overall flashback version. Uh, peeping his stats, we got 85 speed, 86 acceleration, 82 agility, 81 block shed, 87 pursuit, 87 tackling, 75 strength, which is kind of measly, but you don't really expect that from a 4-3 linebacker, 87 jumping. Eight, ooh, Lord Jesus, 94 awareness, 87 power, hit power, that is, 94 play rec, um, and 87 zone coverage, 79 man coverage, and 68 catching. So the cool thing about Mutthead is when you come up here and um, you look for certain cards, say they have a power up, uh, you can scroll down yonder and look at other versions. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what his stats are fully powered up, which really isn't too much of a difference, but I just thought it was cool to show you. And there's another interesting thing that is pretty dope. So once you go all the way down and click his final tier, right, you scroll right back up, it'll tell you how much it is to upgrade a player. Um, majority of you probably knew that, but I did, and that was pretty dope. So it helps me out tremendously. Hopefully it helps you guys as well. But as we look at his fully powered up stats, we're looking at 86 speed, 76 strength, 83 agility, 87 acceleration, 95 awareness, 69 catch, wink, wink, 88 jump in, 93 stamina, uh, injury shouldn't be a stat, uh, 88 tackling, 88 uh, hit power, 
of 69 or 79 finesse move, 67 power move, 82 block shedding, and 88 pursuit. Play rec is 95. Man coverage is 80, and then 88 for the zone. Um, he's not really going to be a player that you expect to get downhill and like take on a lineman and block him. He is, he is not Von Miller. He is not uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Kevin Green. He is not Demarcus Ware. But he should play the pass very well. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into my main man, Roger Saffold. As we peep my man, Roger Saffold, apparently he plays for the Jets. But that's a whole nother blunder for a whole nother topic, whole nother subject. Let's go ahead and get into his stats. Uh, 94 awareness, 85 strength, 94 run block, 91 run block power, 95 uh, run block finesse, 91 pass block, 92 pass block power, 89 pass block finesse, a measly 78 lead block, and 90 impact block. And so he's not going to be the guy to get out on those sweeps. He's not going to be that guy to get out on those halfback bases if you flip it to the right. He's not going to be that guy that gets out on the strong powers and block effectively. But if he does get on someone, he's sticking. Well, based upon what these stats look like. For God's sakes, he's a 98 bulldozer. You shouldn't be running no sweeps or no tosses. For real, for real, if you have him in your lineup anyway, you should just be running straight ahead. And here we are with a 90 overall free safety veterans, Glover Quinn. Let's take a look at his stats. 86 speed, which isn't terrific, but it could be worse. Um, a la Fitzgerald. 91 acceleration, 80, 84 agility. So he's probably not going to be the best user, even though he has 86 speed and 91 acceleration. 80 man coverage, which isn't too bad for a safety. Uh, 88 zone coverage. 79 press. He shouldn't be pressing nobody anyway. 63 speed. He's not known as a bruiser. 90 jumping, 92 awareness, and 92 play rec with an 80 catching, which is pretty damn good, and an 86 pursuit. He's not going to be block shedding nobody. 77 tackle and 77 hit power. Like I said, he's not, he's not known as a person who's going to get in a box. Hence the reason that he is an 87 at cornerback and a lower overall at strong safety. Now that we've seen all three of the new players that were just released, let's go ahead and try to rip open some packs and see if we can get them ourselves. All right, here we are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can get, you know, at least one of them, if not all of them. But, you know, my luck isn't that good. So we got one of each pack, plus we got four go player packs just you know, for the hell of it. So we're going to see how lucky we are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with gold player packs. We're going to go ahead and breeze through them as fast as possible. Oh, as we get an 81 overall Jamal Adams. I had no idea he was power upable. As we get nothing out of that pack. Um, Jeff Lock, nothing, 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 and power up Tyron Smith, which is probably going for absolutely nothing. Uh, let's start with this flat, or let's get into this flashback pack. Fingers crossed, as we get 89 overall Jordan Howard. It's funny because I actually just thought about maybe using him, and then I seen the speed. I'm like, eh, eh. Cause I got my man Ricky right here, which is about to be a 90 overall after this. So I don't know. We'll 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 see. Most likely about to get sold. On to this heavyweight pack. See what they give your boy as we get 89 overall. Jason Peters actually just got rid of this card too. No, I didn't. I'm tripping. Definitely tripping. Still my left tackle. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, man. I know I ain't getting Jack out of this veterans pack. They never give me nothing. So you got an 87 overall Kyle use check. Huh. Let's compare him to my man Lorenzo Neal. Let's see what his stats are looking like. Nah, he's more of a more of a, a tight end. But that'll be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found something useful out of this at least. Our pack luck sucks since we got all those night guardians, but you know, what can you say? If you enjoy, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Madden 19 videos like this one. And until next time, guys, peace.